Okay, so first I'm going to show uh, how to get the string trimmer started up that we're going to be using today. Um, the first thing is the fuel that the string trimmer uses is going to be in the yellow cans um, because it's two cycle fuel. So if you have to refuel these, make sure it's coming from the yellow cans and not the red cans. So the first time this trimmer gets started up during the day, we're gonna have to prime it, which is right here. You just push the button a couple times until the bulb fills up with gas. Flip it over to choke. And right here where the handle is, you've got a start switch. You're gonna put it on start and then give the string a pull. It'll run for a second. Once it starts uh, acting like it's gonna run, or it does run, you can flip it over onto run here, and then it should start up for you. Let it run for a couple seconds. Once it's running for a couple seconds, it should be ready to start trimming. You can pick it up, pull the trigger, and then you're ready to start trimming. If you start running low on string, there's a button on the head of the trimmer right there that presses down into the ground. You push it into the ground, hit the button, more string comes out. When you're done trimming, to you turn it off, just push this button forward, and that shuts it off. Okay, so if the trimmer has already been running for a while, you don't need to choke it to start it up again. You just flip the switch on start, leave it on run, give it a pull or two and it should start right up once it's been running. There it is. Okay, so for the uh, regular mowers, like the one here, and for the uh, brush mower, uh, like we have back here, they both use the regular gas, so if you have to fill those up, they'll be in the red cans. Um, gas goes in right here at the top. These start up real easy. All you need to do to start this up is to pull the, the blade control lever back and then give the cord a pull and it'll start right up for you. It has a self pull, um, a self drive system, which is this lever here. So once I get it started, I'll show you that. So top lever back, give it a pull. For the mower, to start it up, you pull the blade control lever back and then just give the cord a pull. It'll start right up for you. Uh, it's self-propelled, so to uh, propel it, you squeeze the bottom bar in and the further you squeeze it, the quicker it'll go. Um, when you let go of that top one, it's going to shut off. If the motor's on, on the mower, the blade's running, so you don't want to walk down the sidewalk with it on. Uh, don't turn it on unless you're cutting grass. When you're done cutting grass, just let go of that top blade and it'll turn off for you. Okay, so this is the brush mower for the heavy stuff. Uh, also takes the regular gas, which is gonna be in the red cans. To start these guys up, you pull out the, uh, the choke, which is right here. So it's choked. You give it a little bit of throttle to start it up. You're gonna give the cord a pull, it'll start. After you do that, you're gonna turn the choke off. Turn the throttle up and you'll be ready to get going. Um, I'm gonna do that real quick here. It's running. Turn the choke off. Throttle up. are over here. You put it in gear to get going. To turn the blade on and start cutting, you pull this down. The blade's spinning. You want to go forward, you just squeeze right here. This will get you going forward. 
It also has a power reverse. Look at back. Turn it off, turn the throttle all the way down. And then it'll turn off for you. This one, the motor can be running and the blade doesn't spin unless you have this blade engage down. So anytime you're turning around or working near other people, you can just let go of the blade so the blade's not spinning, maneuver how you need to, and then pull this down when you want to cut more. The important thing with this is make sure nothing is in front of the machine when you're running it because um, that's the dangerous area. Everything else, you should be good.